Hey folks, this is the Nazgul. In today's video, we are back in the F-16 cockpit to see how the Maverick works with the sniper pod. You'll notice that the biggest advantage is the pod's high resolution, as well as its alignment with the Maverick's sight, something that hindered players when using the TGP. This video is the result of a suggestion from a friend of ours here on the channel. So share your suggestion in the comments and who knows, maybe the next video will cover it. Let's start by looking at the case when we started with the 16 cold. In this situation, the pod will turn on and perform the test. We have to wait for it to reach 100% before using it, but we can take off normally and wait for the test to finish while we're in the air. After turning on the Mavericks, we can choose by double-clicking one of these three buttons to select the weapon page, which will show the missile camera. Now, flying, let's see the three ways to use the Maverick. Note that when we start with the 16 off, it takes a while for the sniper pod to turn on. Let's speed up the time a bit. We can use the Maverick in three ways, visual, foresight, and pre-mode. The first, visual when selected, both the Maverick and the pod start at the velocity vector. Moving the cursor moves both. Note that the sights are not anchored to the ground, but rather to the HUD. If we press TMS up, then the cameras anchor to the ground. Next is Boresight mode. Unlike visual mode, when we move the cursor, only the Maverick's sight, now in cross form, will move on the HUD but like visual mode, it is initially anchored to the HUD and not to the ground unless we lock onto a target. Altitude. Altitude. Even if we select the sniper pod screen and move the camera, in bore sight mode, the Maverick will not follow the pod. The third way to use the Maverick is pre-mode. The advantage of pre-mode is that it automatically directs the sights to the selected waypoint. If we select the Maverick screen, only the Maverick will move. But if we select the sniper pod screen, both will move like visual mode. Let's talk a little about the sniper pod. It offers three viewing modes, TV, white hot, and black hot. Let's start with TV mode. By clicking the top center button, we have four zoom modes. 
First is infrared. Second is infrared with a visual focus. Third is visual only. Finally, visual with a high definition XR process. In the first three modes, it is possible to zoom up to four times using the manual range knob. However, in XR mode, it is not possible to zoom. Another way to change the view is to use the expand FOV button. However, doing so only allows us to access the first three modes. Now let's use white hot mode. We can access using the side OSB button or pressing TMS left. Similar to TV mode, here we can press the top middle button to access all white hot views. Modes one and three have four X zoom, while modes two and four have high definition XR processing. In white hot, we can also use the expand FOV button to switch between modes one and three and modes two and four. Folks, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and become a member. I appreciate your support. Ahead, we have a shooting range with six targets for us to use. Let's lock on to the leftmost target. When we start with the F-16 cold, the sniper pod and the Maverick are not aligned. Notice that the Maverick's sight is not on the target as it should be. So on the sniper pod screen, we press TMS up. The Maverick screen automatically becomes active. Since they're not aligned, we also have to move the Maverick's sight to the target and press TMS up. Then, to perform the alignment, we press the bore sight button. Rifle. Shack. Here's a note. We shot a Maverick from the left side. Now we need to perform the same procedure to align the missiles on the right side. When aligning, I recommend choosing targets that are alone or isolated. This makes it easier when we have to move the Maverick's sight, which don't have good definition.
rifle. Shack again. Now one more note. Note that we're using visual mode. Even after performing the alignment, the pod and the Maverick weren't completely aligned. However, if we switch to pre-mode, then they will be aligned. So pre-mode is the one I use most because, besides being the mode that stays anchored to the selected waypoint, it is also the mode in which the Maverick and the pod are actually aligned. When we lock the target with the sniper pod, the Maverick screen automatically becomes active and also locks the target. Rifle again. One tip is to zoom in on the Maverick screen. This helps it lock onto the right target. Let's switch to TV mode and shoot the last two missiles. So far, folks, I've shown the cases where we get the F-16 cold and have to align the sniper pod with the Maverick. However, the most common situation we see on multiplayer servers is when we get our fighter from parking hot. So, in this case, we don't need to align because the two systems are already aligned.
When we start with the F-16 hot, even using visual mode, Maverick and Sniper Pod are aligned. Remember that in visual mode, when we are on the pod screen and press TMS up, the system automatically switches to the Maverick screen but does not perform the lock. However, in pre-mode, the lock also happens automatically. That's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. The sniper pod doesn't work much differently than the old TGP. The advantage I hear other players mention is that it's now possible to keep the pod aligned with the Maverick. So, share your opinion below in the comments. Your participation is important to me. Thank you, folks, for watching. See you next time. See ya.